Hello, this is Donovan for Donovan Watches Movies. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, best original screenplay. We're not exactly lacking for options, are we? I'm gonna try to do my best to whittle it down to five that seem possible slash likely. But of all the Oscar races, this feels like the one that really could go absolutely anywhere. You have several writers who are also directors whose projects could very well be huge with the Academy. Plus you have writer-directors who are on the verge of a breakthrough. Let's look at what we have. The original and adapted screenplay races usually give way for a few movies at least that are not part of the larger conversation. And if you're looking at the last 10 years of Oscar history, you'll notice that only one movie in that time frame took home Best Picture without winning its corresponding screenplay category. And that was the mostly silent black and white film The Artist back in 2011. Behold, the five screenplays that probably won't end up with the original screenplay nominations just because the category itself is too damn crowded. Number five. Eftimus Filippo and Yorgos Lentimos for The Killing of a Sacred Deer. So this film centers on a teenager who tries to bring a surgeon into his family. That's a very peculiar plot synopsis. But consider that A24 is distributing and Yorgos Lentimos is also directing the film. It's the same formula that got The Lobster in this past year, even though the film had faded from the overall conversation by the time nominations were announced. You've also got some strong star power with Nicole Kidman and Colin Farrell, and Alicia Silverstone and recent Oscar nominee Lucas Hedges also star. So this one will probably have a bigger profile than The Lobster did last year as well. Also, again, A24. Number four, Jordan Peele for Get Out. Until the award season itself tells me otherwise, I am ride or die for Get Out. It's not just that I think it's the best movie I've seen of 2017 so far, although it's only March, so that's not saying a whole lot. But if Universal really pushes this, they may have a major contender on their hands. Of course, this horror thriller about a black man for whom things go to shit when he visits his white girlfriend's family was a huge success at the box office, is still thriving with audiences, and scored rave reviews. Additionally, this category usually is very kind to breakthrough artists. And though it is easy to forget given the quality of the film itself, this is Peele's first outing as a director. Number three, Mark Bull for Catherine Bigelow's upcoming film about the Detroit riots. Now, Annapurna Pictures has set this one for release in August. And as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I kind of forgot about this movie somehow, even though I really, really want to see it. So it is missing from my supporting actor predictions as of right now, even though I do think it will get nominated in that category at least once, maybe twice. It may even win one of those nominations. Of course, this film about citizens uprising when the force is meant to protect them may not exactly be doing just that seems a little timely, perhaps even more so given what happened in November. So I think that will help. Bull, let's not forget, won the Oscar for Original Screenplay in 2009 for The Heart Locker and picked up a nomination in 2012 for Zero Dark Thirty. Bigelow directed both of those films as well. Number two, Darren Aronofsky for Mother. So after about a decade of getting some of his actors nominations, Darren Aronofsky finally got a directing nomination in 2010 for Black Swan. And his follow-up... The creator formed us on the second day. Okay, maybe that didn't go over so well. But he seems to be back to form with Mother. The film centers on a couple and their relationship and how it's tested once some unexpected house guests arrive. Paramount releases this one in October, which seems like a not terrible time to release a movie that you're pushing for awards contention. And I think this will be his biggest movie within the Academy to date. Number one, Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk. Yeah, this is a shaky prediction, I'll admit. I've heard there's not a whole lot of dialogue in this movie. And Nolan can be very heavy with exposition, which generally is not a great screenwriting tactic. But that mostly pertains to movies like Interstellar and Inception. But both of those movies dealt with some very complex concepts that for the average moviegoer may have needed a little bit, okay, a lot of unpacking. 
But this is a World War II movie, so such unpacking is probably not going to be a real factor here. And again, it is a World War II movie. Also keep in mind that Nolan has been on the Motion Picture Academy's radar since Memento back in 2000, which scored him his first nomination. And that happened to be in Best Original Screenplay. So you're talking about one, almost two decades of recognition within the Academy. I'm not saying that's definitely gonna give him the win because again, the dialogue thing could hurt. Remember when I talked about the artist? Yeah, I imagine all of y'all watching know this already, but just to put it into context, that was a mostly silent film with I think maybe one or two lines of dialogue at the very end. I guess that's a spoiler for any of y'all who haven't seen it. Sorry. But I don't think it's a coincidence that that is the only best picture winner of the last 10 years to lose a screenplay award. I also don't think it's terribly surprising that it lost screenplay to a Woody Allen movie, Midnight in Paris. Because, you know, Allen loves his dialogue. But who knows? Like, why am I even doing this? No, really, why? So anyway, going by the names of the screenwriters, my year in advance predictions for best original screenplay are Darren Aronofsky for Mother, Mark Bull for Catherine Bigelow's film about the Detroit riots. Ephthemus Philippou and Yorgos Lanthimos for The Killing of a Sacred Deer. Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk. Jordan Peele for Get Out. And as always at this point in the year, those five screenplays are not the only ones to be considered. We also have Adrian Molina for Disney Pixar's Coco. Kate and Lauren Malavy for Woodshock. Martin McDonough for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. David Robert Mitchell for Under the Silver Lake. Trey Edward Schultz for It Comes at Night. Not to mention Woody Allen for Wonder Wheel. Guillermo del Toro, Vanessa Taylor, and Daniel Krauss for The Shape of Water. Michael Mitnick for The Current War. Olivia Isaias for Personal Shopper. Michael Art, Jenny Bix, and Bill Condon for The Greatest Showman. George Clooney, Ethan Cohen, Joe Cohen, and Grant Tesla for Suburbicon. Anthony McCartan for Darkest Hour. Alexander Payne and Jim Taylor for Downsizing. Edgar Wright for Baby Driver. Simon Beaufort for Battle of the Sexes. Oh my god, that's so many. Why am I even doing a year in advance predictions for this category? So, what are you predicting for original screenplay? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and click like if you like this video. I'm only going for about 10 likes this time around because the channel is still growing. And go ahead and hit subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!